Oh, this one's gonna be a mess. There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. She's already to have her. Hey, what is up all my social climate friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be discussing Trisha Paytas as well as the Ace family. And let me tell you, it is such a mess. Now, you guys know my last video was about Trisha Paytas. However, there has been more happening with Trisha as there always is. So I'm gonna update you guys on what's going on with that. And then I'm gonna talk about the Ace family because they're just being trash. Garbage can. That just seems to be par for the course for them, but let's just jump into this. So as you guys know, Trisha Paytas and Moses just got married again for the second time, and they went to Maui, and Trisha is having quite the issue with people following her and Moses. There was some very uncomfortable things that were going on in the hotel that they were staying in, and Trisha Paytas spoke out about it. She had a lot to say about it. Actually, over on TikTok, she addressed a whole bunch of different things. So to catch you guys up on that, I'm gonna put those TikToks in this video, and then I'll be back with more commentary. When you marry your assistant, Hey TikTok generation, this this kind of TikTok, this kind of stalking, this kind of like creepiness is not cool. I don't know if this is like Gen Z I need to talk to or what, but this is called simple basic human etiquette. I have never once turned down a single picture request ever because like I'm super honored and flattered that people care, especially with this new TikTok resurgence. Like it's really cool to have a new group of like followers or people who know me. But these kind of photos where you like sneak them far away or you do it in the elevator or you're like videotaping or following us around the resort, it's really not okay. Like we're not caged animals. Filming anyone without their permission or consent is like super rude, like anybody. If you come up and ask for a photo or video, I will always say yes, I've never said no. But filming like this is such an invasion of privacy and it's just like not cool. It is absolutely an invasion of privacy. Any person, public figure or not, you should not be recording them or taking pictures without their knowledge, without their consent. It's totally wrong. It's totally invasive. And while some people may have just like innocent intentions with it, some people have really ill intentions with it as well, whether it be doxing or whatever. We didn't share our location until we were off the property. And like, I don't expect anyone to understand it unless you feel it, but it literally is the worst feeling ever. Just constantly being on edge, knowing that like people are taking pictures of you from any angle. And again, not knowing their intentions, whether it's good intention or not. And a lot of times, 99% of the time it's innocent, but there are those few, few times where people do it for doxing purposes to harass you to like, I hate to say it, like rob you. It's happened a couple times. Like it's just really, really scary. And then you're on edge the entire time, like thinking who's filming us. And this particular trip, there was a lot of those, including people, literally there was a girl in the middle of my stall, like taking pictures of my bathroom stall. There's just a lot of really rude behavior. And the fact that people are like defending this is like blowing my mind. We've definitely acknowledged this before in joking and stuff like that, but like honestly, this meme is kind of dead and I'm kind of like over it, but it's actually kind of funny. I mean, the fact that like people are so mad that my husband like does stuff for me, it's like, okay. Like people really want something to be mad at. I've dated people in the past like, oh my God, they're so not into Trish. Like they ignore Trish. And now that I have someone that like dotes on me and gloats about me and just tries to help me in every aspect of life, it's like, oh my God, the assistant, so embarrassing. I'm like, if that's the worst you have to say about our relationship, kind of thriving. And there are literally so many influencers whose partner is like their partner and everything and helps them with things. I think of Joey Graceffa off the back, Jacqueline Hill, Sophia, her last name starts with an N, Rosanna, Benzino. Like there's so many people and they get like all this praise. Like, oh my God, you husband goals. This is amazing. This relationship is so great. They support you. But it's like, if it's me and Moses, it's like, oh my God, the assistant, she married her assistant. Now, there's not really a lot that I agree with Trisha on these days, the way that she's handling stuff. However, being on YouTube myself and being someone that's somewhat in the public eye, I understand that privacy is very important. And I think that it is incredibly weird for people to follow any YouTubers or any celebrities or anyone for that matter. It's really weird. It's an invasion of privacy and it does give me stranger danger vibes. And I don't like that. I like my personal space. I've never had a situation where I've been out publicly and had someone film me or get in my face or in my personal space. Anytime I've ever had someone come up to me, it's always been super cool, laid back, but I've never had anybody like that I know of like recording me out in the public. I think that that is so freaking weird. But truly, the one thing that I can agree with Trisha on is that people do deserve their privacy. And situations like this can quickly escalate because you never know what can happen. I really truly do not know how I would react if I was in an elevator and had somebody like recording me like, that's weird. But aside from that, Trisha also did address the whole thing with like all of these different religions that she's making a mockery of and trying to make her own. 
So I've actually already addressed this, but I'll address it again. First and foremost, there is no gatekeeping God. Second, I am on a spiritual journey, which means I am exploring all religions and every religion I have visited in person, the temples, Hare Krishna, Judaism, Islam, Christianity, um, and now even Wiccan community going to crystal shops and stuff. They've all been very welcoming and open, trying to um, help me on my path, trying to find my truth and what I believe in. And I don't identify as either. I just get really excited about learning about all this stuff and being really open. I was raised Catholic, so I wasn't open to this stuff before. And again, it's usually people online that have a problem with it. Usually people not even in the religion. In real life, they're very welcoming and open. And as far as cultural appropriation, like I'm not really sure where this goes. You know, when I was in Hawaii, I bought stuff from local people. My husband is Jewish, so we celebrate Jewish traditions and stuff like that. So I'm appreciating culture. I don't mock it. There's a big difference between appropriation and appreciation. Now I believe that we can all have our own spiritual journey, but you can't say you're doing this, you're becoming this, and then a week later do something completely different. That's the polar opposite of the religion that you're trying to practice or become a part of. That's just really weird to me, and it's a pick me attribute that Trisha has, which is fine, sis. Get your money, get your bag, get your coins by any means possible, but damn. You guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below. Now, I have not made a lot of videos on the Ace Family. The few videos that I have made on the Ace Family either did not perform or or people just rip them to shreds and rightfully so because a lot of the stuff that these people do for the camera and YouTube with their children is just completely awful. The child exploitation from these family channels is just incredibly horrible. I'm gonna be making a video about eight passengers tomorrow and let me tell you that is such a mess. But to catch you up if you don't remember who the Ace family is it's Austin McBroom and Catherine McBroom. They're most notably known for the whole sucker incident where Austin took I believe his niece to a Spencer's and you guys know what's in Spencer's. There's a whole section of Spencer's that really should not be available to the public in my opinion because kids shop in those stores and they sell some really explicit things and he ended up buying a sucker I believe for his niece and that video clip went viral. They, they're still getting called out for it. That's why I'm sitting here talking about it in a video. But the Ace Family posted a video and it has a lot of people talking. Now this video is titled Still Got Hurt Bad on Camera So Unexpected and it's a picture of their son Steel and he's like laying on the ground like he's fallen over and it looks like what could be blood on his mouth, but I'm not necessarily sure that that's blood. I think that that might be candy and it might be a dramatic effect. I did not watch this video because this stuff like this is triggering to me. I do not like blood, I do not like guts. But it's incredibly easy to see that this is child exploitation. But Ethan Klein called them out and said, when the bank forecloses on your home and you need money, quick. Now this is what is really crazy to me. Jamie French, somebody that is not problematic at all, somebody that's never in drama, if you don't know who Jamie French is, I love her so much. She does all kinds of different like throwback videos from like the 90s. 90s and 80s and stuff. I love her. So you guys should definitely check out Jamie French, but she's like an unproblematic queen. She chimed in and actually said, What's it going to take at YouTube? Why does the Ace Family still have a platform? Why are people allowed to scam their followers, exploit their innocent children for money? When will your algorithm reward talent instead of trash? And this is something I can definitely get behind because this is something that a lot of people are feeling. I felt this way a long time, not really for myself, but a lot of people that I see that are so like good at makeup and so personable with their followers that just do not grow. They don't get the attention that they deserve. And YouTube really doesn't cultivate that type of audience. I think the shock value gets people farther. And that's really sad to me. And I know a lot of people can say that about my content because I make content about other people. I give commentary, I give my opinions, but that's what this is. If you watch the news, if you watch like TMZ, all that different crap that's on TV, I don't even watch TV like that. It's truly the tale old as time, right? Problematic people being rewarded for bad behavior because they get all the attention. And I see comments all the time of people saying, well, you shouldn't engage, you shouldn't even bring this up, you shouldn't talk about this. But if we don't talk about it, then a lot of people will not be aware of the environment that is on social media and what's going on, you know what I mean? All I know is that the Ace family has had drama after drama after drama after drama after more drama and they're still here they're still successful people still watch them they have stands the the comments on some of these videos that they post is just incredible to me how these people just do not see how these people exploit their children you know the old adage you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink that is the same thing as trying to tell an ace family stand that they are trash and they just don't want to see it they're just like completely oblivious to who these people are you would think after the sucker incident and the multiple alleged scams that they've put people through and the whole house situation that people would realize 
what kind of people these are, but th they don't. They just don't, and it's baffling to me. But you guys, please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about all this stuff. Let me know what you think about Trisha Paytas and this alleged stalker, and how weird it is for people to invade your personal space. And let me know what you think about the Ace family. I think that Austin McBroom is just trash, and Catherine's trash, and they're just not ever gonna change. And look here, look who just came up to me. He just came in from outside. He has stickers all over him. Look at the camera, baby. Ooh. I gotta get those off of you. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I hope you all have an amazing evening, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.